Magic's one of those things that can be something that transports people. It can be something that where you can really transcend the mundane. That's, that's what it is. There's the sort of the cheaper side of it, which is the illusion of, of a kind of supernatural wonder, which, at least with a magician, you know is kind of a game and you don't take it too seriously. Um, and that's one end of it. But I think there's, beneath that, what's lovely is it's, it's a very human thing. There's a story written by Penn and Teller, an American um, magic duo who are fantastic, two of my heroes. It's called Invisible Thread. An Invisible Thread is a tool used by magicians and it's a type of cotton that is very difficult to see and you can use it for moving things around and so on. And uh, in the story, if I'm remembering this correctly, Martians come down and they're going to destroy the world and the governments of the world are, are petitioning for uh, the earth to be saved by saying, look, we've produced this and this, we have Bach, we have and so on, and they're producing all these things and the Martians aren't just sort of aren't, aren't that impressed because what they have is better and more developed and so on. Um, and what does it in the end, what saves the earth is they see a magician doing a, doing a trick which involves a bit of invisible thread. Now they see through the trick, but what they find amazing and worth saving the race for is the fact that human beings would go to the trouble of making and designing and attaching a t a this, tiny, this tiny bit of sort of silk thread purely for the delight in creating this whimsical illusion of something that's, sort of, that's just floating in the air. That to me is where it's very interesting in the same way that the, you know, talking to a psychic, there's the cheap illusion of her psychic ability or his psychic ability that's questionable. But what to me is more interesting is the human level, the fact that, that I could sit and listen to a psychic and be so convinced. What that actually says about me and us as people and the way we interact and the, the, way, that, the way that we do form those patterns, the way that we will see design where there is none, the way that we'll um, come to those conclusions at a purely psychological level is, is so much more interesting because that says something about us as humans which ultimately has to be more powerful and more beautiful than nonsensical guff about the ether. Thank mm -hmm. you.